We've had over 500 vehicle tests on this channel, and almost all of them have headlight tests. So if you want to see how the lights on your vehicle work, this is the right place to be. Well, it looks like Lexus sent us a nice off-road SUV, the GX460. Over 60 grand worth of off-roading gear here. If you're spending that much dough for a vehicle, you want to know if the headlights work if you're driving at night. In our Try Before You Buy segment, we're going to take this out in the dark and see how it performs. And by the end of the week, we'll have racked up around 500 miles on this. Have a complete video test, so subscribe so you don't miss that. So let's take this Black Beauty out in the dark and see what happens. Okay, it's dark enough. I see all three bulbs on each side are lit up on low beam. What happens when you put it on high beam then? Let's see. One, two, three on low. And three bulbs on high. I guess they're just brighter. Three bulbs going either way on each side for a total of six. And here's what the taillights look like. Seem a little duller than normal. I wonder if it has something to do with the black paint. Maybe the taillights are black too. I didn't notice in the daytime. Even the license plate seems brighter. And I see the emergency flashers away on the bottom. Definitely brighter than the taillights. A lot easier to see when the headlights and taillights are off. And I see they're integrated in the mirrors too out here. Put the vehicle in reverse, here's what we're seeing on the screen. Not the largest picture I've ever seen, but adequate. Gauge cluster lights up pretty well. Even though there's a lot of switches and gizmos in here, it doesn't really seem to light up that much. At least you can see everything you need to. That's the finger touch pad and steering controls. And here we have the low beams on a wall 100 feet away, very bright, good height. A bit lower on the left than on the right, but that's okay. High beam. Wow. Lights everything up. Motor Train reviewed these headlights, said they were horrible. Claimed they couldn't see anything in the dark. I don't know what they're talking about. Looks pretty good to me. Eh, what do they know anyway, right? You would think for the money we're paying, we would have active headlights that turn the same direction as the steering wheel, which is great for taking corners, but I guess we're not getting that on this Lexus. That's okay. The lights are pretty good the way they are. Near for a longer distance, 200 yards on the side of a larger building, the Costco. Well, they're good for something. Definitely strong in the middle, no doubt about that. Sorry guys, it's the only long distance place I have at the moment. The other place is shut down. Overall, these are excellent headlights, no complaints for me. I think Motor Train needs to do their test over again. As far as the taillights, and I'm understanding why we couldn't see them very well. All this black lines here doesn't do much for illumination. So, headlights in the front, yes. Taillights, not so much. And that includes our night drive. We're going to be posting a complete one-week road test on YouTube in a couple days, so don't go away. Subscribe so you don't miss that review.